Welcome to Four Collectors. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Four Collectors for Collectors. My name is Sammy Thunder. That was the first time I ever used the intro, and I didn't screw it up, so that's a good sign. Uh, welcome. Welcome, everybody. 24 hours before leaving for Strongsville, maybe a little bit 48 hours, maybe 72 hours for some. I don't know. It depends on who is going and when. Um, I am fortunate to leave tomorrow uh, with another, another, eh, none other than Brian Roth, B. Roth 6. We're going to be driving all the way from uh, New York and going straight across Pennsylvania into the lovely state of Ohio. Speaking of Ohio, I have my best friend here. I'm going to bring him in right now, Mr. Scott, Reindeer Studios. Hello, sir. Hello, Sammy. I'm wearing this shirt, and I thought of you. Nice. Yeah. I like it. I actually had somebody say to me, he's like, did Scott make that shirt? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I got this from Cooperstown, but it's very, has a, I mean, it's, you know, special, it has a special connection in some ways to you. Right, right. That's a great shirt. Yes. Uh, so I'm just catching up with everybody here. And so Scott has joined and anyone else going to Strongsville, I'm inviting everybody else who wants to jump on. I know there's a, some people that, were um who did express interest in coming on as well so um let's see let's catch up with everybody andrew's here vintage goats is here hello everybody um going back and forth a little bit hello hello orlando i hope you're able to jump on the show and me i know you're going as well i hope you just see, i hope to you can come on as well billy hoffman can everyone come out wait for Strongsville? That seems to be the growing consensus amongst everybody. John, hello. Uh, let's get ready to rumble like the movie with David Arquette. Um, yeah. Excited for Strongsville. Beards only tonight so far. <laughs> uh, I tried to grow a beard. Looked like I had the... the, the... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yes. Um I think we'll hopefully get a, a nice growing um, crowd as they and as they kind of mosey in. But thanks for coming on, Scott. No problem. Um, are you, you're leaving tomorrow. When are you, are you leaving tomorrow, or for, are you going? No, because you're. I, I live here, so. Friday, right? It's it's right up the street. So it yeah, makes sense. So you don't have to you don't have to stay at a hotel. Or, I'm already here. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna be you're gonna be like. Like when a new iPhone comes out, you're gonna be the first in line, right? You'll just be right up at the entrance at the entrance, at, you know, the crack of dawn, and wait six hours, and then you go, right? Um, so, have you had uh, with? I mean, with your new business, it seems like this has been a great opportunity for you to be able to kind of expand a little bit. Uh, have you received a lot of orders? Um, you mean for the shirts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's going pretty well. I'm I'm very pleased with uh, everything so far, mm -hmm. and um, obviously I'm bringing some shirts with me. And um, were there any particular designs that were more popular than others so far? Uh, the the Piedmont shirts have sold well, and the uh, Years of Baseball cards shirt has sold pretty well. I think those are the top two. Very cool. It's uh, yeah. I've I definitely I definitely do want to get a shirt. I'm if you're I mean you're going to be going to the national obviously. So mm -hmm. do you? I mean I like the designs that you have. Do you have anything else in the pipeline right now, or is that right now you're just focusing on these designs? Um, I've got like twenty more designs in my head that I need to get out. So there's there's plenty coming. I I was wondering if you've if you were thinking about coming up with like a shirt that has all the different mascots. Um, that probably get kind of tough just because uh, when you start using like current MLB properties. Oh, I see. It gets a little tricky. Yeah. Gotcha. So, I mean, what about the San Diego chicken? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's probably still like an, an IP issue. 
Yeah, probably so. And let's see. I'm a two-time Scott. I'm, I, I am what you might call hefty. Uh, I got, I got some two X's, Jason. How did this? How did that go into that conversation? <laughs> There's only <laughs> one mascot that matters, Sammy. Yeah, and I, if I know, if I'm thinking what Mookie is thinking right now, a couple of years ago, that mascot flipped somebody off as they were walking off the field. So, uh, God, that was pretty, pretty hilarious. I don't know if you heard that um, years ago. The Mets, Mister Mister Met, was walking off the field and flipped somebody off. <laughs> but, it sounds like a Philadelphia thing, though. Yeah, well, you know, I think uh, I think uh, the Philly fanatic is, you know, he's pretty PG. Well, let's say PG thirteen. He does he does get a little, uh, you know. <laughs> um, so who's tired tired of hearing about Strongsville? That's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. I uh, I'm not. I am. <laughs> I, you know, I'm very much looking forward to it. I really, the for me putting this 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 together was to uh, was to gather a bunch of people and uh, to to jump on and to um, you know really just kind of um, shoot the banter and uh, mm -hmm. hang out and to kind of like a preliminary thing. And that's really what I'm looking forward to. And yeah, another invite, Mr. Craig Campbell. Hello, sir. Hey, there we go. Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig. Yes, sir. And uh, how how are you? To, how are you this pre Strongsville Eve? Or... Oh man, I'm I'm busy. That's for sure. You know, I'm uh, been working all day on making lists and checking prices, and you know, trying to make sure that I uh, go for what I want. So, do you have anything in mind in particular you're after right now that you're hoping to find there? Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> the biggest thing I'm looking for is really the '53 Bowman Eddie Matthews. And a 55 high grade uh, Bowman Matthews too. Um, I came across two uh, PSA eight 55 Bowmans in the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. I think there's only like 85 graded eight. And uh, the first one I thought I was getting close to making a deal, but he was a little bit high priced on it, and he decided to keep it for himself. And uh, the other one was uh, Ash, the dealer Ash, the big dealer Ash. It's going to be. He, yeah. he had one that he said he sold it at the Chantilly show. So, um, so I'm looking for that. I we'll see what happens though. So mainly, mainly Matthews. So how far of a drive is that for you, Greg? Um, I'm near Beaver Falls, so it's going to be about two hours. And, okay. Because uh, our our church is in Beaver hey, Falls. Greg. Hey, Greg. So our church is in Beaver Falls. We have a house there. Then we we actually have a house that we own. In a suburb of Youngstown, so it's probably like an hour and a half. Okay, not too bad. No, no. Greg, thanks so much for jumping on. I know you uh, have a uh, what's up? Oh, sorry. It looked like you're pointing oh, I, your finger. As... <laughs> I, I think I'm good now. I think I think I had both things going, viewer and participant. Oh, so, okay. Sorry. I'm good. It looked now. like when you when you pointed your finger this way, I'm thinking you're tr either <laughs> you're. Well, I figured you were just like you wanted me to hold up for a second. That's just, oh no 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 no! But... <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I just interrupted Craig. I, I apologize. No 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 no! You're good, Greg. We got Craig and Greg here, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Greg, thanks so much for jumping. I know you're going to be working on a video with uh, with Adam shortly. But uh, yeah, we're recording tonight for something that'll post, I think, on Friday. We've been playing kind of tag on times for a while, but uh, but you had mentioned this. I was like, well, this would be fun, so let me hop on in. Yeah, absolutely. And you're uh, are you flying in tomorrow or are you flying in Friday? Yeah, I'm doing a red eye flight, so I leave at 11 p.m. West Coast time tomorrow night, <laughs> and I land at 7 a.m. Cleveland time. Ooh. So I probably, I don't imagine I'll sleep really much at all, but you know, whatever, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> you from okay. California, Greg? Yeah. What's that? You're coming from California? Yeah. So okay. I, they don't have direct flights from Sacramento. So if I went to, through Sacramento, I would have to fly and then 
change planes and it would be like a 10 hour day. So I'm going to drive to San Francisco and, and fly in from San Francisco. So San Francisco's from technically from where I live is, is going to be the airports about oh, probably close to two hours. All right. So. And you'll be all jazzed up on Friday with the, uh, the show and everything. And yeah. Be on the adrenaline rush. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Just pop a couple Red Bulls and be there ready to go. roll. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be uh, B. Roth and I will be driving from this from New York uh, tomorrow morning, so we have a nice, roughly seven hour trip ahead of us going across Pennsylvania. Yeah, but you get that pre show talk conversation thing, which is one <laughs> like to me is a lot of fun. It's one of the fun things about how I traveled all all the shows around here with my dad as we're talking. You know, like strategy what are you gonna do you know that's like that's part of the fun i think and then uh and then the way home you talk about how it went or you know and it makes it, it makes the drive pretty easy so i'm kind of hoping that when i'm sitting in the terminal tomorrow somebody comes over and is like hey and then they're you know they they, they know the channel or something we can hang out so that's all yeah that's i can either go very well or very poorly in those circumstances that's true that's true Hey, Jason. Gentlemen, how we all doing? Hey. Good, man. Scott, nice Cheers, to see Fred. You. Yes, I, I, I need to get one. I, I'm, I'm ill prepared. <laughs> this is brought to you by Zadie's Lager from Baltimore. Fantastic. Fantastic. Craig, Greg, I follow you both, watched you forever, and this is the first time I'm on live with you. Nice to uh, be on with you guys. Likewise. Yeah, yes. yeah, nice, nice. I need to, uh, I need to get Greg something. So that he can mark off Illinois on his map. So, oh, so when we show I, up, when I show up, there'll be something for you. Let me look. Did I have? Yeah, look at this blank spot right in the I middle know. there. I saw, I saw right the there. Yes. Yeah, Illinois, huh. right there. And I know you're a huge Harold Baines fan, so I got. <laughs> <laughs> so I Who got isn't? Be... <laughs> Who isn't a huge Harold Baines? Fan? I am a huge Harold Baines fan. He's a legend <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> That's awesome. He's the one that gets picked on too much when it comes to. Uh... He does. Me and well, Mitchell have to hold up the White Sox flag. You know, we've got to support him. So, Mitchell, a uh, White Sox collector and fan, we 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 support him. So part of the part of the problem is he just didn't spend a lot of time in any one place. So there's not like that fan base as much. You know, probably the White Sox. But I mean, he was in so many different teams toward the ends of his career. It's right. just like you're like, oh, he's on the A's now. You know. Yeah, up, exactly. Hey, Brian. My car buddy is here. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I need to know who's going to be listening to the Slayer. That's what I want. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. I got. Uh, I don't know if you ever listened to Mashuga, but I got Mashuga primed up as I, well. I know Mashuga as well. <laughs> I I love bad heavy metal, Sammy. It's just it's it's <laughs> no. Well, listen, Mashuga is not bad heavy metal. Neither that is Slayer. Is quality heavy metal. Neither is Slayer. Slayer are Godfathers. <laughs> So <laughs> we kind of like so Brian and I agreed that there's no reason for us to leave at the crack of dawn tomorrow because I mean it's not like there's a sh it's not like the show is starting tomorrow. So we agreed to leave, leave at eleven, but I'm saving Brian the the uh, the fact that if he were to get here by eight o'clock and have to have to listen to Slayer for the first couple of hours, that would be pretty brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Rain and Blood is monumental. It's a wonderful album. <laughs> well, I, I think I only know like one song from that album because it was on Guitar Hero Three, and I played that a lot when I was like a, a teen, a youth. Sure. So, sure, Absolutely. that's what I have to contribute. <laughs> so, I'm when like, are you guys are leaving tomorrow then? Yeah, we're going to leave at 11. Uh, Seven-hour trip. I mean, it's going to add up a little bit because of probably lunch and gas and whatnot. So we're looking maybe, I don't know, uh, seven, eight hours, including all that stuff. Okay. I'm leaving at uh, 4 in the morning on Friday. And that'll that'll put me in at 1030. <laughs> that'll put me in at 1030. I'll save Brian the hassle of doing Mangini impersonations for seven hours. I feel like I can only add to that, right? Like, everyone can, like, impersonate John Mangini. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll spare you i'll spare he's you he's going right i believe john no oh, he's, he's not going. i wish he was but he's not okay. going yeah he was talking about it but i think last i heard he wasn't okay it it's funny because i feel like we need name tags in uh at the show because like brian like <laughs> i've seen brian's call i see b roth comments you know and stuff but i'm like I don't know if I could put a face to a name with a bunch of people. 
And so I'm going to be like, just tell me what's your handle and then I'll know who everyone is. Right. So that's going to be, that's going to be hard for me for sure. Dave Blue Jacket actually just did, did a video yesterday saying, you know, don't be, you know, don't be angry with me if I don't know your name. I'm terrible yeah. with names. Please introduce yourself. And I, and I replied to him in his video. I said, I'm the same way. <laughs> I said, you know, we're, we're all older now. We're getting, we're getting to that midlife time and then ah. names slip us. So, mm -hmm. uh, Scott, how many times have you been to Strongsville? Well, how, how many have you been like in the past and like what number will this be for you? Uh, this will be four or five. Nice. The first time it's, I went to the show, I didn't know what it was. There's just, oh, there's a card show in Strongsville this weekend. I'll check it out. And it's like, wow. <laughs> now, have you been to the new facility that it's going to be in, Scott? I have not been inside. I okay. went and checked it out um, just to make sure it was right next door because that's what they were advertising. Yeah, it's like a, a hockey rink <laughs> next door right. to the hotel. Yeah, that's what I had heard is it's like a minor league hockey team kind of thing. Or, or just uh, maybe even no, just, like youth. Yeah, just like a yeah. rec center kind of thing. I, I I just hope that from all of the, you know, the small feel that it's always had, I hope that this convergence that all of I feel like we're all wedding crashers and we're going to crash this, this party. And then are we going to mess things up for all the people that have been enjoying it for so long? But we'll see, I guess, right? Yeah, it's going to be different. I would I mean, have to. I would have to believe the show promoters are going to be really happy with it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. the the fact that the that they're getting this much pub on so many different platforms. I mean, that's a big deal. It could. I mean, it, it could potentially. I mean, it's already grown, if I'm not mistaken, right? This is going to be a bigger venue. So. Right. Yeah, there was a guy I watching George come on Facebook, and he's going to be there on Saturday. Also, he's coming up. I think he lives in West Virginia, so there's people. I've run into like three or four different people that are that are going to be going um, in the area, so it's kind of interesting. I I feel like uh, the first time I heard about it was two three years ago when Ryan Nolan of Breakout Cards did a show on it in a vlog, and it was just like, whoa, that that looks interesting. And then he did it again the following year, and it's like, wow, that looks interesting. I feel like he, I mean, they, they should give him free admission for sure. Cause I feel like he's a lot of the reason it got kind of put on the map. Yeah, I agree. That's the first time I saw it was on his channel actually. Yeah. I've got a couple of friends that have been for a few years, but, um, but only I think Chris from Missouri and then Scott, but uh, I don't think Chris from Missouri did a video on it last year, unless I'm mistaken. So I didn't see his perspective, but uh, obviously I've seen Ryan's a couple of times. So also Garrett, Garrett did a video last year from oh, Ballpark yeah. Memories. Oh, okay. He said he he said he would come as he would be here as well. And uh, I just texted yeah. Chris asking him if he was still coming because I talked to him yesterday. But I guess we'll see if the if the mayor will arrive in grand fashion. Now, did Garrett set up at the show, or did he just attend it as a buyer? He attended. Okay. Also, I like the I pre uh, Greg. I appreciate the um, the ta the the header. Well, it's <laughs> true. It's true. I'm I'm, ha I'm president of the <laughs> Sammy Thunder fan club, and I'm just a participation yeah. trophy winner. So this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you changed yours. I love it. That's funny, Greg. So I, I think historically, sorry to cut you off, uh, buddy, but um, I think historically it's been pretty hard to get into Strongsville as a as a dealer uh, oh. because. In the past, it's been so small and usually like pretty exclusive. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm interested to see like like how many more. Like I, I have no frame of reference. Kind of, I've never been to the show before, but I'm yeah. interested to see like how like dealers feel about like getting that many more dealers in the room. Because like as someone who like also sets up at shows, to have like more, and I do both, right? Like I set up at shows, and I also go up to shows and buy. Mm -hmm. But if you have like a like 50% more dealers in the room that dilutes the product, right? Like from a dealer perspective. Yeah. Yeah. that that will be interesting, but I have a feeling that there will be a bigger increase in buyers than there will be in dealers. So I have a feeling it's going to work out well for them, but I don't know. It's a good yeah, that's point. a great point. That's a great point. 
Does anybody have the total count of tables? Do we know? I don't even know. Well, they released the map about three or four days ago, I think. Okay. I can um, share it. Let me see. Yeah. Right. The map was emailed around. There was a, there's been a list of the dealers on the website for a while and it's, it's a pretty long list. Yeah. There, there that's mm -hmm. it right there. Yeah. I'll just go down the list pretty briefly, but I mean, you, yeah, like William, Ch uh, William Chappelle He's I know his name, uh, D's nuts and car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that was the, I made that connection too. Uh, um, yeah, legacy yeah, there's and Ash will be there. Um, but yeah, you know, it's going down the list. I mean, there's a lot of overlap between, especially a lot of the East coast shows that Brian and I have gone to. There's always a lot of the same guys at the County center and, you know, Philly, Philly show and so forth. I think Stan will be there as well. He's a fairly big dealer. I saw him at the last bigger Chicago yeah. show. Be yep. <clears throat> Bob, okay. So, so we're both. <laughs> um, well, thank you, any question. I had, I saw a guy on uh, Facebook. He had he had some stuff for sale. Hey Garrett, yeah, how we doing, everyone? Hey Garrett. He had hey, some really high end stuff for sale on Facebook, but he said he was going to be there at, at Strongsville. But I was looking. I saw the. Uh, 52 Matthews, he had like four of them. And uh, I, I hate to say this, but the price like he had them at, I, I think they're just there for like eye candy, you know? Yeah, um, there's, that, that not, happens. Yeah, not that I'm, not that I'm gonna be in the 52 Matthews this year, I think maybe next year now, but is what I'm gonna be trying to do. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I remember seeing his prices, I thought, hmm. I just saw a video Craig of so was it the battery? Do you guys follow the battery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just I picked up his... he picked his up in a three. A beautiful card. Yeah, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I missed the boat like a year. It was probably well, not a year. It was about six months oh. ago. It was an SGC one. Uh, the back had paper loss. The front was perfect, perfect. And uh, I still kind of kick myself for not making a move on that. I should have. I mean, I I always kind of feel it was like my one chance to really, you know, the price was something I could have managed. I mean, it was right. strange, but. No. I want to leave this question here for Scott and Garrett, since you guys both have attended. Um, do you find that there are good deals at Strongsville with more competition? You can go ahead and go first, Scott, if you want. Um, I've always been able to find decent deals. <clears throat> like I, I, I don't really know how to answer that, but just... I mean, like last year when I went, there was I was able to find good amount of stuff. I mean, there's just so much volume in there that there's going to be some stuff that's underpriced. There's going to be a lot that's overpriced, a lot that's underpriced, but we'll kind of see. I mean, this year I'm more just going to kind of meet everyone, see all the dealers, see, you know, a bunch of people just get some good interactions. I mean, the buying will kind of be a bonus. It's nice if I can find anything, but I'd like to get to meet some people. Also want to mention, um, Garrett, congratulations for crossing the 1000 threshold. Yeah, yes. I appreciate it. Thank Saturday. you. I'm official now. <laughs> <laughs> I should get there in about two years. I'll get there two or three years. <laughs> Keep on Is there running. a secret code or handshake to unlock deals, Scott? <laughs> you have to get the like the little heart with your thumb and your finger. <laughs> oh, the mayor has arrived. I'm glad. Hopefully, he can jump in as well and and uh, you know, produce some order in this. Is anybody going for all three days? I hear a lot of people just going for Friday, Saturday. We're all, we're all three. Okay. Okay. Excellent. I was debating Sunday. Like maybe I'll go for a little bit and then head out. You know, my drive's not terrible. It's about five and a half hours. So it's not terrible. I'm, I'm kind of lucky being local. And then uh, on Sunday, I'll be preaching about in Streetsboro, which is probably 30 minutes from, from where the show's at. So I'm going to have my sermon all done here in the next couple of days. Go to the show, stay the night Saturday, go preach on Sunday, and then come back and finish up on Sundays. So oh, that's fantastic! It'll be a full weekend, full weekend. You gotta, you gotta integrate baseball cards into the sermon in some way. I shape usually or do. Form. You know, I, 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 I even <laughs> bring like show and tell stuff sometimes. I really sure. do. That's fantastic. <laughs> Boozles on fire. I send the wife to negotiate my deals. They don't see many big, beautiful women in those parts. <laughs> uh, that's good. 
Let's see. So Matt is saying Friday through Sunday for us. Boys are happy to get another day off of school for a card show. Oh, yeah, that's the life. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't know if Matt, I don't know if, if you're able to join us, but please do if you want, if you'd like. And Chris as well, because I know both of you are coming. So, um, yeah, definitely a lot to look forward to. Uh, I guess this goes. This is a question I'm curious about. So I posted my video of things I'm looking for. And I'm looking for really just off the cuff stuff. Um, I mean, for Scott and Garrett, I mean, when you guys are walking around, are there are there dealers that have that sort of oddball stuff that you don't see at your average card show? For sure. I mean, it's some of like the deepest inventories you're going to see. I'm looking for like some pretty weird stuff. Like I'm not desperate to buy stuff but you know if i could find like a good good win champions type card i'm looking for a card from that set or some like the 33 it's the worldwide gum if i could add some of those preferably like a, a ruth or garrett because i have like the fox and the eddie collins and some other stuff but if i could find a ruth or garrett i'd take that but it could be a successful show without that i don't really mind but you're going to be going there maybe to add to your inventory or is yeah a little bit of everything i mean i have some stuff i'm going to try to sell too we'll see just stuff that dealers may be interested in i have like a little pile here but some higher grade stuff that is tougher for me to move that some of those dealers have like the big time connections for you know really high grade or just tough to move stuff but in those situations though like you're going in you're going in knowing that like do you go in knowing that dealers are going to try to are going to want to like percentage off of what the what the book value sure. is? So it's not like like super normal stuff it's kind of just like i said stuff that's harder to move like here's a bazooka kofax in a nine so like in a nine it just gets hard to hard to move something like that like autographed no here you go autographed cards are always Tough for me to move. I mean, someone might want that. I got that for a good deal. Let's see. Here's here's Garrett. You know who might be interested in that bazooka is um, Howard Chasser. Do you know who Howard is? I I may know him if I saw like his handle on some type of social media, but not just by the name. Now, if you follow um, Theo's channel, Clemente oh, Collector, oh. he had Howard on twice. He he's gonna be like he has like gray hair, like really like. He wears a Clemente jersey. He wears like a big Roberto Clemente jersey. You'll you'll he and glasses. He's from Long Island, so you'll recognize him just by listening to his accent. Um, he deals with a lot of like food issue bazookas. Um, yeah, just like um, Don saying, just find the guy with the Clemente jersey. He might be interested in looking at the uh, um, the bazooka. That just the person who came to mind immediately. Sweet. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the type of stuff I'm, I'm bringing. It's not, you know, stuff that they're going to find everywhere. So it's stuff that, like I said, they'll have better clientele than I will to sell some of this stuff, like high end stuff. Like here's, I just got this one this week, actually. Sorry to keep making you put me on the big screen, but this is a 1916, the globe stores. It's a Charles Comiskey. It's an eight. This is the highest one ever graded by any grading company. I think there's a, there's an SGC 5.5 and then a PSA 5. But then I think like total between all the grading companies, there's like six or seven of these ever graded. This one, you know, there's no sales of it in the past like few years. So this is the type of stuff that I'm sure someone in the room will know someone who's more interested in that than I will. At least that's I mean, per, like personally, if that were my card and I were trying to sell it, I would just give it to an auction house and let someone... Yeah, that's, that's another really option. Like, I was going to talk to some of the auction houses there and see yeah. what they might even think it will go for because I really don't have a clue on on what it might be worth. I know there'll be a couple there, um, more than a couple, probably like a, a nice selection. So um, yeah, I mean, like this exact card sold in uh, 2013 and 2014 was the last two times it sold. So I mean, it hasn't sold in public sale in 10 years. So I have, I have no clue. Yeah. Cool card. Very cool. It. Very cool. Greg, um, are you bringing anything? Nothing really. I I, I was 
I had a box and I was just throwing some stuff in, but not really. I probably won't even pull it out if okay. if I need a kicker on a deal or something, maybe. But I don't think so. I'm bringing money, and yeah. you know, I'm I my number one goal is I just want to hang out with a bunch of people, and it'd be cool to get a card or two. But I'm not I'm not going into this thinking that you know I'm going to come home with this haul. So. I, I have very low expectations from the actual card pickup portion of it. It's more about, you know, actually meeting people face to face. That is my number one goal. So the so the elusive fifty four Ernie Banks? I was just I, about you know to ask. I was just so, about to ask that. So I have I have a you know ten or twelve cards that I've kind of comped out, kind of looking at. And I'm bringing money. Um, I I have ten or twelve cards that I've comped out, but honestly, the the banks isn't even one of them. It the banks has gotten to the point now where it's like <laughs> I'm trying to think of, of an, an analogy. It's like the the girl that you meet online and you're you're chatting for months and you've never actually met her in person. <laughs> she, you've got her so high on a pedestal that there's no way she could live up to it. And that's where I'm at with the banks. Like I'm, I'm honestly thinking I'm going to end up with like a two, just right. a beater that's been well loved. That's like not a beater because it's got creases necessarily, but just a beater because it's been handled so much in love. I think that's what I'm going to end up with. So that's not even a card that I comped. Uh, but, but who knows? I mean, if one falls in my lap and it's the right price, I brought enough money to get one. Right. But you know, so we'll see. I've actually, I've actually comped that card in it too, because beaters and well loved. That's my wheelhouse. So I'll, I'll be, I'll be looking at a lot of well loved cards. You know, yeah. higher, you know, higher end well loved mm -hmm. cards. That's my wheelhouse. So. Hello, Mister Moynihan. Hey, Mike. Hey, to Mike. Brian, Greg. Everybody, <laughs> Jason, How are you doing, Mike? my best friend Scott. <laughs> Nobody likes getting catfished. Yeah. Sam, is there some, show, is there some uh, show this weekend we should be talking about? Or yeah. one of my temptations for this weekend is I'm I'm taking cards to get graded, but I'm hoping that I don't decide to make a move and, and trade uh, some stuff. So, these were the. Uh, Oh, sorry. I jumped. I jumped the gun too quickly. Look at those. Yeah. Look That's at those nice monsters from the thrift store. And, uh, so I'm going to be taking them up, and then, I, of course, I got another yeah. 68 that I may be I'm making... looking to to move for something. But I plan to take those cards up to get them graded, and uh, I just hope I don't get sidetracked <laughs> with something else. So. Um, because I really don't, I'm a little bit leery about mailing them out. I just, I don't, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'd rather hand them off to SGC. Oh, I'm the same them. way. Yeah. I plan that's, it also say you know, you save on shipping that way. So you don't have to ship it down. You got to pay the shipping on return, but you know, yeah. it's just, you know, it's in their hands at that point. They have it. This, this is another one I'm really looking forward to getting. I want to get it graded. Um, it was the uh, 69 bench. My camera is not the best here. But, uh, was that I'm part sorry. of your find as well? The yeah. 69? I yeah, know you had, you the, had your the, find as well. Yeah. And I've got a couple of the uh, 67 high numbers to get graded to. Fantastic. Uh, Joe. I know it wasn't quite the grail find. We don't even need to go to the show. We could just hit yeah. up Mike's find and then pick through that. <laughs> Mike, yeah, I have you... no money left. I don't have any money. So, <laughs> Mike, are you arriving tomorrow? Yeah. What time are you getting in? Like in the evening or? Yeah, I think my plane lands at nine o'clock or something. Yeah. Uh, let me look. <laughs> so, Brian, how when you mentioned when you texted me telling me you're bringing a bunch of cards? I mean, what are we talking about? Like a, an entire back uh, back seat full of cards, or just a. <laughs> Um, well, I'm bringing uh, my 66 tops near set. It's missing like five cards. Um, someone wants to look at that. Um, and if I can complete it at the show, that would be great. If anyone sees like a VGX 66 mantle or like a McCovey, let me know. 
Um, got my SGC order here at 15 cards deep right now, but hopefully can add to it. Um, and then I might bring this like long box that I usually bring to shows, just like pop it in the bag. I, I can like just fit it into my like show backpack and I'll just like have it and people can just look through it. I don't know. Very cool. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if I decide. When you say, when you say people look through it, are you talking about show goers? Are you talking about everybody or just dealers or everyone? Everyone. Yeah. Well, I've always mentioned like the best resource is each other. If you're talking about like YouTube meetups and whatnot, if you can't find the card you're looking for at the show, you never know. Somebody might have it. That's uh, a common goer, a comrade amongst us all. Mm -hmm. So Mike seems to be grabbing something to show to the world. What do you got there, Mike? Oh, you're bringing this. Bringing these, if anybody likes Gowdy Roos or, you know, <laughs> well then, no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of those. I sold this already, so I'm I'm collecting at the show. Amazing. Well, there's your income for the show then. Now you're good. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that is Don't not how that math works. You, yep, you can't mix them. <laughs> this is coming to the show, but it's not for sale. I'm gonna wait for. Chris wow. to get his this video generated. That is such a killer card. Sorry, one second. Let me go. Oh, right. Yeah. Very nice. That's it's, I mean, that is. That's the one. Spectacular right? is the word you're looking for. Yes, yeah, it is. That's the one. I, I only had to spend 80 grand to get my grip. <laughs> <laughs> it seems reasonable, right? I will say my Grail cards are much, much uh, less expensive. I fall in the category of Greg when uh, you, you, most of the time I hear you say 200 to $250 is a big card. That's a big card for me. Yeah. So, it's a big you know, card like, for all of us, Jason. Don't yeah, let, I mean, yeah. don't, it, that's still, I still, although last night I had a, I have a set of, I'll show you guys these because this is fascinating. Mr. Mayor. Mayor. There's the mayor. Mayor Strongsville is here. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. This is a set. Put me on the big screen there. This is a set called 2007 Gaudi Immortals. And the guy who had the Grail collection had this entire set in his stuff. And it's an 07 set. So it didn't make a whole lot of sense given everything else. But realizing that his dad was a big Gaudi guy, there's 42 cards. And I have the whole set. The Ruth, I, I broke it up. I put, started putting them on eBay last night, and there, there's a Ruth in there, and mine had a pinstripe, and uh, it ended up. I sold it sold by the when I woke up this morning, it had sold for nine hundred dollars. I put it on eBay just like for nuts, like, oh, this won't sell, but what the heck, you know? Sold it this morning wow. um, for nine hundred dollars for a relic, a Ruth relic, no doubt, right? But uh, let me see. I'll, I'll show you guys because it's a, it's actually a cool card. But then I, I, I do know that um, like Ruth relics, especially jerseys, and especially especially if it has a pinstripe, definitely go for a premium. Yeah, it, and it did, and yes. Um, but it happened to be a guy who's building the set, and he's. I found out they were one in two hundred and eighty-eight hobby packs, so, so basically one a case, right? Um, so they never come up. The Ruth certainly never comes up. Uh, here, I'll share, let me share my screen, present, share screen. I'm glad I know how to use, all right, here it is. So there's the roof. Oh, that's nice. Wow. So there it is, sold, $8.99 right there, boom. Can't complain. Chipper Jones, $100 for a napkin relic. Um, I mean, it sold Andrew Jones for 25 bucks for what I would have thought was a $5 relic card, you know? So all these I've never even seen that set before. That, that's oh, really cool. I think everyone's going to laugh at this, but I thought I saw that set on Mangini's channel. I thought he had a bunch of them. I thought he showed some. And I know it's we're in the season of does Mangini have the card? But I, I think he's got a couple of those. If I'm not mistaken, that's why I saw him for the first time. <laughs> I, I had it something? for about. Can I a say week. something? Oh, God. Mike, no. what's, your, 
No, Mike, Chris, you're not allowed to talk this whole time. Mike, why don't you take some of that shiny new stuff you got there and go uh, go spend it on some Eddie Matthews. So next time we do a showcase showdown, you'll represent a little bit better. <laughs> uh, Chris, underneath oh. where you can't see the camera, I'm holding one <laughs> finger up. Guess which one I'm holding up. Um, uh, I'm not exactly. Let's <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see, a- we'll see how Willie Mays turns out next week. Don't worry. Hey, All right, hey guys, I got to take off. off. I got to take off, but I'm really looking forward to seeing all you guys all right, on man. Friday uh, at the show and then at Chris's event after where there will be absolutely no chance that there will be enough room, but that's okay, right? It'll be <laughs> oh, plenty of room now, plenty of room. Oh, okay. We got a new, we got a new um, a ballroom that we're, they're going to put us in. Oh, awesome. They, they found out they found out you were coming, and they thought to get all your all your fans in there that we needed to get you know need to get a bigger space. <laughs> you always do a good job of putting together a party, Chris. So I'm pumped. So all right, I'll see you guys in a couple days. All right, Greg. See you, Greg. Right. Scott, are you going to be there tomorrow? Yeah, was that I'll a be around. Price or was that a bid on that Babe Ruth relic? You what, Craig? Was it a buy it now or was that a bid? I just put it at a crazy buy it now that I thought nobody would hit and it was gone and by the time I woke up. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> hey, Garrett, uh, I know we haven't met yet, but uh, I told somebody that I know you, so I'm going to introduce you to somebody tomorrow because he saw some of your cards last night on your show. Okay. So he he's a little... He's a little intimidated, I guess. And so I said, I'll introduce you to him. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I mean, I can get you my number or something. Just shoot me a text, whatever. I just can bring just, him to Strongsville. Just pretend like we've known each other for years and he'll be comfortable. <laughs> oh, we have. We have. There you go. <laughs> hey, I'm actually yeah, uh, submitting yeah, something. Don't give him your number. Do not give him your number. That is. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. I'm actually submitting one of the cards that I bought off of Garrett. And we've, we've done deals with each other in terms of like selling stuff in bulk. One of the cards he sold me was the uh, Mickey Mantle. So I'm going to, I decided, I would, yeah, I'm going to send this one in. Um, sorry, the focus sucks on my camera, but you know, you got to just deal with it. So, <laughs> so there you go. Sammy, are you sending, are you sending in that 70 Raleigh fingers? Yeah, that's my that's my dark that's my dark horse. I bought it for five bucks at a um, at a shop, and you know, to me, I was like, huh, it's a second year Raleigh Fingers. I know he doesn't go for big money, but I mean, it's it's a uh, bear in mind the focus sucks, but you it's know, a sharp the, card. Yeah, trust me, trust me. <laughs> I've got interest in that. I have that card, but I saw yours. Yours is sharp. I'm like, oh, maybe I can maybe I can talk to him before he even gets it graded. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah, you know, if the price is right, my friend. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, now that I know what you paid for, just tell yeah, me what I was you just want. about to say. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, these are all just uh, some more seventy tops. If we're, I've got a couple of Clementes. And these are all going in for grading because they're just crazy sharp. How many are you in. submitting, Mike? Are you submitting a, like a crap ton? Yeah, we've got seven orders that we've already meet between me and Chris. Seven orders that are either there or on the way. Um, and we're doing them in groups of about 40 to 50 cards. We're probably going to end up grading four to 500 cards would be my guess with wow. PSA. Um, but you know, Hey, this is what I was telling Chris earlier that we're number one. Um, <laughs> I'm a big fan of that card. Mike, what are you doing with the stuff you're not grading? Uh, Greg Morris. Okay. Is PSA going to be there or just SGC is going to be there? But SSGC, PSA is not. JSA. Um, I have the website up in front of me, but I Do think you going to need a Munson rookie or, you know, just got... months of, uh... <laughs> Mike might be flexing right now. Well, I do be flexing, but you're grading all, all those, right, Mike? You're not, you're not, you're gonna. No, these are all to be, these are all to be graded. They're too sharp not to right. grade. I sent in. Okay. In the first batch, I sent in three 70 tops Tom Seavers. And again, our cost per card, we got all our money back essentially with the graded cards. We we paid for the collection with just the 13 cards that were graded. It, it was valued more than what we paid. Everything else was basically for free. 
and or just on top of. And so we had there were three Steve Carlton's as an example, 70 tops. They look like they just came out of a pep. And I'm like, okay, eights are 150 bucks if I get an eight, right? It's cost me $20 to grade it, right? Eights are 150 bucks. If I happen to pull a nine, then and if they're if they're not at least eights, and I'm quitting the grading game completely. Like I'll just stop because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But if they're not, if I get one nine, that's a thousand dollar card, you know, and if you get nines on any of these or Reggie Jackson, uh, who, you know, any of these pulls a nine, it's worth big bucks. This is a crazy sharp 72 tops, uh, fifth rookie, you know, not a high dollar card by itself. Right. But if it grades, right. It's still worth grading at 20 bucks. It'll sell for more than $20 if it gets an eight or something like that. So there's, we just have tons and tons of cards like that. Um, Nolan Ryan's and Reggie, you know, lots of 69, 70, 71, a bunch of mantles. Those are all getting graded. Uh, I Cobb, red, ba- you know, but red background Cobb and Map Lajaway T206 and Cy Young T206 for Scott. He'll want to, he'll want to buy that because <laughs> he's an Indian. Only 152, though, correct? Tops, I thought you said, I thought I heard in one of your videos, only, only 152 tops card in the whole thing and it was richie ashburn and it's off already to be graded um it was really sharp the one card that was there but yeah it was weird it was and you could it totally made sense the the grand you know the 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 dad collected in the 30s so there was 32 delong complete set 32 gaudi complete set minus the lajaway with an extra yellow ruth there was um 34 batter ups. I've got a whole stack I'm bringing to Strongsville of 34 batter ups. And it's Hornsby and Jimmy Fox, you know, just all the guys, right, for the batter ups. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to grade those yet or not. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Then uh, I got a dealer that's interested in them. So I may sell all those to him. And then, so there was all this early 30s stuff. And then, you know, 34 Gowdies, almost a complete set, including both Gehrig's. Then there was uh, a gap, right? And then then starts up in the late 60s, 69, 70, 71, 72. There was big, giant boxes full. 72 tops, high number football, which is impossible to find in the wild. Absolutely impossible. He had a you know 600 count box full. of, And I have multiples of every card, four or five of every card, all like they just came out of the pack. And a common guy in that, set sells for 40 bucks, you know, in the high number 72 football, which, so we're just, I don't know. <laughs> There's how, a lot to deal with. How many of the 34 Gaudis are you grading? Are you grading almost all of them? Uh, all the hall of famers. Um, no, not all of them. We're sending a bunch of them to Greg Morris. Okay. We're sending a bunch to Greg Morris. Um, there and the the thirty stuff is all the same range as like the roots. It's all like two to five, right? We had a couple. Of, one of the Gowdy roots came back, or Garrigs came back a five, which is nuts. Yes. Um, one of the Gowdy roots came back a four and a half, which Chris oh. got that card as part of his. Like we created two piles, right? Chris's pile of stuff, my pile of stuff, um, and like throw in stuff was like that Gowdy set or. And I'm going to end up making close to two grand when I sell all those cards, you know, and then uh, like I got a 75 top set. That's like gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And so there's just never ending, just lots of stuff to do. It's fun. Just make sure you have fun, Mike. You can get like, I'm sure you know, but you can get like caught up in like the money aspect of it. But like, it is fun to sort. It is fun to price. It is fun to sell. Like, make sure you like enjoy the process and the cards. Because once the cards are gone, then the stuff is over, right? Yeah. Until the next collection. And well, Michael, my also I hear that giving is a lot more fun than receiving. And so, if you want to give one of those roots <laughs> to me, I want you to enjoy yourself. <laughs> That'd be a lot of enjoyment. I can help you with your happiness if you're willing to give. Right. (laughs) Christmas has come early. Yeah, it'll be. I I don't know if I'll sell the roost. Um, I've got them priced where I'm not going to like, I don't have to sell. Like it's this, it's a wonderful position. 
You don't want to pay it? I don't, I don't have to sell it. Those are two cards on my all-time want list. So if I don't sell them for what I want to get out of them, then so be it. Right. Uh, and if the math keeps keeps working in your favor, more and more likely they're going to stay in the collection, I'd imagine. That's right. So those yeah. are kind of, again, I'm at, I'm halfway. I've sold right. 40 grand worth of stuff already. And I haven't even started trying yet. We haven't even graded a single card. We haven't sold a single card on, on oh, I sold a few on eBay, like you see, but it's we haven't even tried yet we're not even close and so half being halfway there makes my wife very happy and uh yeah we'll see if it, i if i get my price i get my price brian what do you think two and a half on Ra gaddy roos off the top of my head i don't know um it's not a card i've ever actually had um well to, to, you could have your chance if you uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> hey mike in those 70s was there a lot of the high number uh, in the 70s too yes okay. tons of 71 high numbers the 71s were the least good condition but that's what you would expect honestly uh i mean they were still all i sent in a lot of 71s already that that went i had four nolan ryan's that went in uh, but they all have you know a little white on the corners and they're not perfect but it's card not the, yep. the way they were kept or anything yeah. um so yeah lots of 71 high numbers lots of 72 high numbers but baseball right which are crazy hard um you get a white wilhelm i need it <laughs> uh he's in a, he's in a high I, he's on I bet high we have card. six i bet is we that? have six of them. yeah but that's all with chris like chris to, we had to divide and conquer you know i couldn't and he had a car so he took, I took the stuff I was flying. So I, I could only fit what I could fit in a suitcase. I, I took an empty suitcase, literally filled it up. It was full of cards on the way home. My backpack was full of money on the way there and empty. That was empty. And then my suitcase was full of cards on the way home. Uh, so yeah, we have, I'm sure we have Wilhelms coming out of our ears. Every time I try to get a graded white Wilhelm in that high set of the 72, I, I, I never bid enough because I don't want to pay that much for a white Wilhelm, but I hear you. It's a hard one to pull on a decent grade. Wilhelm has a couple of high numbers. 62, I think he's a high number. That's yeah. that's a tough card. Um, 63, maybe. Yeah. There's, Wilhelm and who's the other dude that tends to be in obviously Brooks Robinson has the 67 that's really crazy. Uh which you showed McCovey. McCovey is the guy that has these weird high numbers, and you're like what the heck? This card's like three hundred dollars. I'm like, no. Yeah, I think it's a sixty-one. Sixty-two is a short print. Sixty-six yeah. is a short print. Yeah, or McCovey. Yes. But yeah, for McCovey. Scott, are you gonna have t-shirts for sale at the show? I will have t-shirts for sale at the show. I'll trade you a Babe Ruth for a t-shirt. <laughs> Deal. Deal. <laughs> he might even give you two, maybe two T-shirts for that. Yeah, I've already placed my T-shirt order with Scott. I'm very much looking forward to getting it. I am excited how, too. How many of us are all going to be wearing the same T-shirt when we're walking around? We're going <laughs> to look like a Reindeer Studios cult. We're all going to be thirty guys wearing Reindeer okay. Studios shirts. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> Yeah, Darren, I didn't even say, you know where I got this? It's like, oh, where, where, where'd you get that Piedmont shirt? Oh, I'll tell you exactly where I got it. The guy's standing right over there. Right. He's got right. a white beard. Right. The God, handsome I do have man. to ask. I know you were doing some of your sketches of the Diamond Stars. Do you still have the Luis Robert? Uh, I yes, I do. Yeah. You do. Okay. Mm -hmm. this oh, there's a whole, there's right a whole Diamond Star set in the <laughs> zero collection. There's there you an go. Entire, entire Diamond Star. Plug for you, buddy. Plug for yeah, you. Yeah, I thought All I right. saw you guys show uh, the Al Simmons. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at into getting the Al Simmons. I thought I saw you guys when you were all drinking your bourbon or whatever it was. <laughs> I think, I think I commented. You know, I'm lonely because I'm watching a bunch of middle-aged guys sort through cards on a Friday night or whatever night it was. <laughs> yes, I'm sending most of the stand-ups in to get graded. Uh, the 64s, I guess. RJ is talking about. Um, yeah, there was ton like. Two mantles, 
you know, a couple of Calentes, a couple of Kofaxes, Drysdale, Mays, a couple of Mays, Clemente. Like, okay, <laughs> just why not? Any transograms? <clears throat> No. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me, Jason? <laughs> just, just asking for Stanley. Yeah, I'm sending. I'm sending my. I'm trying to get this. We're trying to get this one re-slabbed with an SGC. So we'll see. But I appreciate you thinking of me. <laughs> Why would you ruin that card by getting it in an SGC slab? Let's oh, here we go. <laughs> what are you trying to do to? What are you? What are you doing, Mike? Just speaking truth, man. Just speaking truth. Mike stirring the pot. But let me but let me ask you though, if if you're if you're, if I'm not interested in selling it, then what difference does it make? Future value. The, well, what's to say that SJC doesn't have the potential for future value? I mean, we're we don't know what the future holds. Look, my Grail card is in a SGC holder, so who am I to talk? And I'm not going to cross this over. I was just why, do you, so why do you even ask the question to begin with? <laughs> just stir the pot, like Brian said. I'm just just poking the bear. I'm just poking the bear. You're gonna have to get a PSA hat soon, Mike. I know you got the SGC <laughs> day. You have to get a PSA one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brian. This makes this seven-hour trip a lot easier knowing that you're in you're in Team SGC, buddy. <laughs> I'll be Switzerland here. I'm all things Frankenstein. Oh, oh look at this! Look at this! There you go. I mean, it, listen, Mike. If it makes you feel better, I won't slab it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it here. <laughs> no, you can read. I don't care. It's your card. You do whatever you want with it. Doesn't mean I can't give you crap about it just because. Oh, funny. I know. <laughs> so um, how many how many people is going to be at the meet and greet on Friday? I will be Mike. there. When's that? It's at best. Where are you, where are you staying, Garrett? I'm staying at the hotel. That's just right there. So. Okay, it's downstairs in the bar. Uh, okay. Right in, in the where the, it's basically where the show was last year. Okay, yeah. So, so just like at noon or whatever, like it's about no, to start at, at seven. Oh, after at seven, yeah, at seven or so at night, it's going to start and and uh, bring uh, bring your money and bring cards too if you want. I'm sure there's there'll be. I think I'm sure there's people that watched your your video about buying cards there. So okay, it's got to have his T-shirts there. We'll be checking ID. So bring your ID. Mike will be signing <laughs> autographs. And uh, Craig will be passing the, the offering plate around trying to. <laughs> a, little, a little extra money going here. And I'll try to I'll try to keep Mike Canadian cards off the table. <laughs> Mike's not coming. What? Mike's not coming. I, I thought he was coming with Steven. Nope. No. No? His literally his dog ate his passport. I heard that. Oh, that's right. I heard about yeah, I saw that on a video. Uh, <laughs> literally. They, no one would believe it unless Orlando will be there. Why isn't Orlando in here? He's I've been he's trying to get him on. I told he him to jump yeah, on. I've been too. trying to. I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up taking I'm gonna end up getting off here because I'm gonna I haven't gone through my couch cushions yet to see if there's quarters and stuff that's dropped down there. Uh but I will see. If we're leaving first thing in the morning, and we're we're going to be driving about ten and a half hours. So, so Chris from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Sammy, you owe me a drink when we're there, right? Yeah, I've been asking everybody what what kind of beer do you like? The famous Dennis Hopper line from Blue Velvet. What kind of beer do you like? Perhaps hey, Blue Ribbon. Don't say Heineken, no. Don't Perhaps say Heineken. Blue Ribbon. <laughs> my favorite. My favorite is cold, and my second favorite is free. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll bring a that out for you. I'll go to my, I'll, my, I'll go to my local bodega and get you a nice six pack of stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll, be, about. I'll either wear a, a Schlitz shirt or a stag shirt. Okay. Perfect. So, all right, guys. Hey, everybody travel safe and I'll yes. see you Friday night. See you Friday, Chris. Chris. Uh, I'm going to jump off too. I'm going to spend some time with my fiance before I leave for an entire weekend. So I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll let you guys keep on, but I'll, uh, Sammy, I'll see you tomorrow bright and early. Yes, sir. All right. We'll see, we'll you see the rest of you guys on Friday, probably. See you, Brian. Brian. See you, Brian. Yeah. All right, guys. So the, I had the, you were talking about the Nolan Ryan earlier. That's one of the ones I'm submitting is I got this one at a show when I was setting up. Let me go solo on this one. 
This one is uh, the guy came up to me with a bunch of Mets stuff, and one was the the seventy one Ryan. It has some imperfections, but you know, otherwise, That's I think six. I have a good, I have a good chance of getting a a decent grade on it. That's a six. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, I I've been getting four and a half for the past four times I've submitted Ryan's. So. 70 or 71 Ryan's in particular. So I'm hoping to break that mold. If it makes you feel better, I think mine are fives and sixes too. So. Hey, Warren. Hey, Warren. What's going on, guys? Hey, Warren. How are you doing? Warren's walking to Strongsville tomorrow. Like, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> nah, it's going to be a good time. Looking forward to it. Thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Happy to have you here. Could you put my ice on real quick? What's that? I had, a, I had a question for Mike. If you could put me on ISO real quick. Uh, on, so, oh, solo? Okay. Yeah, yeah, solo. Yeah. You want me to grade your card? All right. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, this is, the camera's really bad, but this is a, that 60. This is an Nolan Ryan rook. Can you see how off centered it is on the back? Yep. That won't hurt it as bad as you think. Turn it around. Are you doing SGC? Yeah. Uh, there's your first problem. But um, <laughs> there is a, God, there is a, a hater. smallest. Such a hater. <laughs> crease right on the very bottom but i mean it, it doesn't get into the picture well that's an auto four if, if it has any creasing at all or wrinkles it's a four minimum or maximal all right but that's still a great like mine's a two so oh yeah I, yeah, I, yeah yeah i would have guessed if, if i had to guess i would have said that's a three possibly I'm kinda, i don't think the backs are that big of a difference really even with sgc and the and the centering you know i don't think it's that big of a deal I think you get a four on that one. You think yeah. so? Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't notice the crease until like a little bit later. You got to really look at a fine light with it and kind of tilt it. Like just that does, little does tiny. the crease go all the way through? No, it doesn't go all the way through. All right. So to me, it's a surface wrinkle then, I guess. Yeah. Which makes so, it a four. It does help things. So. You know, it's anyway, funny. Everybody's been bitching about uh, grading and it's gotten harder. And you got to think, just like you said, Craig, you couldn't notice the wrinkle earlier. They're using these high res scans. They are seeing everything that the. No if you look at your naked eye, you're like, "What? This is like I the cards I just submitted to PSA. Um, they're already showing up as the scans. I'm like, holy crap! That card didn't look that bad when it left my house. Meaning it shows so much. It like they're going to get lower grades because they're not just looking at it with their eyes or even with a loop right you're getting this magnification this light penetrating and everything is showing up that's wrong with your card right. and so the fact that we're seeing average lower grades across the board is not surprising given the technology i think it's a i don't not i'm not poo-pooing it it's just uh older slabs are going to have a little more uh, i hear people all the time i want new slabs because they're grading harder and i want it'll be a more real representation of the true condition of the card it kind of and feels a little bit more of a robust grade a little bit more of a solid yeah grade, you know yeah. no mike i i agree i i just sent off a i just got grades back off, off a sgc order and one of them was a 1989 upper deck randy johnson rookie and you know my wife does this stuff for a living she works for a printing company and like there's no way this card wasn't a nine or a ten. It came back a seven, and I'm like, "There's no way in hell." It happens. It, it's part of the deal. You got to deal with it and just accept it. But I'm cracking it out. It's going back because there's no way. I I looked at it again, and I'm like, "It is what it is. What are you gonna do?" I mean, it's all subjective anyway. But just crazy, crazy stuff, and. What are you going to do? Other than crack it up and send it back. My uh, my son's here. I'm going to go eat some dinner with him. But uh, I'll see everybody tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, whatever, whenever people get there. Yep. Right. Looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah. And see you, Mike. Scott, I'm looking most forward to seeing you. I just want uh, you to know. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I, know. I mean, I don't even need to say it out loud, but I right. did anyway. So, uh you guys have everybody travel safe and we'll see you guys in Strongsville. All right. All right. We'll see you then. Yeah. Take care, Mike.
Thanks. We're gonna we're gonna descend on Strongsville as a community. <laughs> we're gonna double the population just with YouTube. All right. All right. See you guys. Yep. Take care. That was really interesting to kind of hear a good recap on Mike's big pickups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's amazing. That that blows my mind. I, mean, I think it's I think it's important what uh, Brian said though was that you know enjoy the process. You know don't sure. just don't just you know I think that's that was really because I think we can all kind of feel that. You know, when you come when you come into a big collection, how can you like? I remember coming into a big collection of uh, like uh, '70s stuff, and uh, I remember taking it home, and there was like like a huge box full of um, loose cards. Actually, some of them were in rubber bands, which kind of made me nervous. But <laughs> took it home, and I remember I did a. This is early on in my channel. I did a live stream of um, just sorting through five thousand cards. And going through, I found like five George Brett rookies, uh, a couple of Robin Yount rookie cards, and uh, Paul Molitor rookie cards, and the list goes on. I mean, that's not super high end stuff, but it's people take notice and enjoy that sort of stuff. And I just remember, I remember going through, and I, my eyes glossed over, and I had to sort and resort the, the next day. And I found that I uh, passed, I looked beyond a Mike Schmidt rookie card that was in there. <laughs> Jeez. And so it's just incredible. You know, you have to really kind of just. Yeah, that, that's where the fun part is. I mean, the selling yeah. sucks. When you, when you sell a good card <laughs> and you got to ship it out or deliver it or whatever, that, that part sucks. The buying's pretty fun. The sorting through and the figuring out exactly what you got. That's that's where the real fun is, the repricing and all that. I think it's also just the, 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 the whole idea of when you take, like if you're getting a collection that, and, uh, you know, you pay a price that's, you know, uh, that's really, really well, that's really good for you. And ultimately you take it home and you don't know, you don't really, know, you, you get an idea of what's in there, but then when you start sorting through you're like, Oh, you know, it's always that, just that build up surprise. Yeah, you're always worried at first with, you know, what you dished out and then you kind of confidence grows a bit as you kind of sort through it. And everything. Did I waste money? And you know what? It's always the next card. There could be a big hit in here in that somebody missed and it happens. And that's what's fun about buying those big lots like that. And it's just a good time. I had a friend recently that was just bidding on some like local auction house and the pictures were just kind of just junk wax boxes. I mean, we're talking like 90 Don Russ, just like straight junk wax. And there was like one 61 Fleer basketball common in there. And so he bought it, paid like 30 bucks or whatever for just a lot of stuff. And as he was going through there, he found a 61 Fleer Russell and a 61 Fleer Bob Cousy for like 30 bucks. And they're, they're probably like fours and fives. And so that, that's wow. what the fun is. And when I bought that that's thrift store. That's what it's all about, really. That's what it's all came, about. For sure. I came home with all that stuff from the thrift store. I knew like I, the good stuff, like I knew all this was, you know, there. But I went through the worst first. So I started off with the worst stuff and worked my way to the best because I knew if I started with the best, you know, oh. chances are I wouldn't I wouldn't get through down to the worst. You know, I mean? right, right. And uh, <laughs> by, by doing <laughs> that though, like I, I Sam was showing. Uh, oh, hold on, I want to give. Uh, these were just, you know, they were just laying in a in a box, and uh, if I would have just focused on stuff like that, I never would have probably seen these. You know, yeah. and, uh, so I, I I made sure I went worst. The best. It's the best. Yeah. All right, so don't be fooled. Uh, it looks like it'd be a ten, but it's not. I'll tell you why. Man, you could probably, I, you could probably sort of see it. Crease. I see the crease right above there the blue. There you go. Yeah, yeah, right above the blue. What a shame, right? Because this card is so tough to find centered. See, but I'm that guy. I got to tell you, I'm that guy, and I, and I preach it even when I'm making videos. So what? That's a beautiful card. That's a gorgeous card. For sure. So, so if you're truly just collecting, uh, you know, I know we all, you know, we all make videos. We all talk about collect what you like, but at the end of the day, that number, you know, much to mm -hmm. like, like Greg says, it's a, it's a recommendation. It's not, it's not a hardcore fact. So, no. If the card, right. like, that that card is gorgeous. Thank so you. if it's a two or an eight, who cares? I mean, that looks better in lots of fours, fives, sixes. Look at yeah. Orlando showed up. 
Hey, guys. Uncle Owen. Yeah. How are you, sir? I, I miss Mike. I tried to get on there with, with him, but I guess I couldn't make it. Well, I'm glad that you uh, – I know you had some trouble getting in with um, – I guess. Yeah. Uh, but I'm glad you made it on. Um, you – are definitely like the liaison in, in this hobby. You, you're like the glue that keeps it together. Because I remember being at the National this past year, and you're like, hey, Sammy, hey, this is so-and-so. This is so-and-so. This is yeah. so-and-so. <laughs> and just going around. And I, honestly, it's it wouldn't be a, a convention without Orlando. Yeah, yeah you know, it, it's not very, not very many times that you get a chance to meet everybody. So, you know. Unfortunately, I wish I would have had more time to sit down and talk to everybody at the national, but it was a point where I just wanted to meet everybody, you know, just spend even if it was just a few minutes with everybody. And, and really, that's the main reason I'm going over there to Strongsville. You know, it's not really to, to buy a lot of cards or anything like that. I am bringing some cards to, to trade and sell and stuff, but for the most part, it's just for friendships, you know, just to see everybody and uh, give Scott a big hug. <laughs> Your best friend, Scott. <laughs> yes, Scott. Oh no, I I can't wait, guys. It's it's going to be a great time, and I just want to shake a lot of hands and just appreciate everybody's friendship, but also get to meet face to face for the first time. And to me, that's more special than anything because we're not just collecting alone anymore. We're doing it together. And I think that's what's important. And and but to be able to look somebody in the eye besides the screen, right. I think it's going to be fantastic. And I, I'm really looking forward to it. And I get the double shot. I get Strongsville, and I get the national. That's and right. I'm only 15 minutes away, so I'm I'm golden. I'm happy. And I can't wait. I can't wait for it, all of it. So. There it is, Sammy. Hey, thanks, I, think, right, thanks. I think John is going to be there too. Yeah, John's going to be there. Looking forward to that. Unfortunately, I don't know if I know Dylan's probably not going. I don't know if Adam is going. Um, is that the National or Strongsville? Strongsville. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm take. Yeah. I'm take. I'm taking this for Garrett. <laughs> who is that? Wait, who's that? Is that the key for? Who's that? Solo. That's Keith Kelly. King Kelly. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's an awesome card. I need the yeah. keep. I've got some other cool cards of his. So that's probably the, the first good one champions I'll get. I know sure you know pick, up, pick up this bad boy today. Nice. 62 post. Mazarin. Oh, it looks sharp. Pretty nice yeah. hand cut, too. Yeah. Pretty nice hand cut. So I'm happy with it. That just came yeah. in the mail today. So I'm pleased. If you buy Garrett. anything from Garrett, the one thing that uh, Garrett, your shipping skills are beyond comprehension and said in a good way. Like Garrett, like Garrett, like treats it like it's a Christmas present when you get it from him. He he boxes all the cards, he puts his logo on it. It's like you know, Santa Ballpark Memories has has shipped you some cards. <laughs> yeah, I try to make sure they're protected and everything. I got the black box and the black bubble mailer. I've had someone that like the box was just completely crushed. When it got there and it was they bought raw cards and they were still completely fine so that was like definitely a big chin up for that one that, that felt good so gary you're looking for the uh, tim keith then yeah i mean if i can find one you know i'm not in a complete rush but yeah it would be nice to have i wish i would like, have I seen have you last one. year yeah i got I had, this I, this is I had awesome two i want the other one to go with oh, it sorry. yeah i had two keys and, and i took one to the national and was able to uh do a trade at the last national for my other keys Man, that's, but, that's uh, so tough. I mean, I, yeah, <laughs> I've been collecting it forever. I mean, if, if you've seen my Keith, I've got the highest graded one. What's yeah, that? It's a, it's a PSA 8. Holy oh, smokes. Yeah. Nice. Easy. Oh, that's look my, at Scott's card. Nice. T206. Yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite Scott card. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 do, I, I do feel like a lacquer. I didn't I'm I didn't prep anything to bring to this show. Like uh, everyone I've got everybody's cards from last year at the national and I brought nothing this time for this show. Yeah, I just have don't, my cards. Don't feel, don't feel bad. I'm sorry, Orlando. Don't feel bad. No, I, I just have my card that Sammy just showed there. I, yeah, I, I still have it. I still have yours. Real, I yeah. want to get a real card eventually, but you know, not this time. Probably hopefully for the national. I want to give a, a whole, 
I'm taking a bunch of cards over there to SGC. So that's what I was doing. All these cards here. Yeah. I'm getting them. Uh, a few cards. Just a few. In there, yeah. It's like those flashing I got a so, I mean, I got, a, I got a little bit of everything, you know. I mean, I've got cards from like uh, 1915 Cuban George Washington, 1915 Susini card. G dubs. All the way from uh, G men cards. To, uh, just a little bit of everything. Some of them I'm going to sell. I mean, I've got some American caramels. Uh, T207s that I want to get graded, a couple of T207s, some yeah. leaf cards, you know, oh, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff that I'm just taking over there to get graded, uh, along with uh, Jared John smiling, man. He wants it, he wants those cards. I know, I'm <laughs> salivating over here. That Reese is sweet. Was that Reese yeah. the one you won from uh, Alex? Yeah, that one I'm keeping yeah. because that one came yeah. from Alex. So I just wanted to get it graded. And I'm going to ask SGC if they can put something on the, on the flip that says from Bowman 53 collection or something. I don't that'd know if cool. they'll do that, but I'm going to try. That'd be cool. That would be very cool. cool. So no, just a whole bunch of 62s and just some, you know, a little bit of everything. Some Reggies. I got a couple of... Uh, here, 71 Reggies, I'm taking the, the Munson and uh, McCovey, just a bunch of 71s, you know, the Clemente. No big deal. No big are, deal. You, are you grading all that, Orlando, or are you going to possibly trade some of that? I'm going to get them all graded. How many do you think you got total to get graded, Orlando? I got 40 cards. 40. See, that's like, I, I was, and I know graded, Jason yeah. mentioned like. And the, the Jim Leland, uh, Rookie. Tiffany. Yeah, mm, yeah. got elected. So, and just some seventy-two high numbers that are tough to find. Like this, uh, you were, I think somebody talking about Hoyt Wilhelm. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, it was me, Orlando. That's a seventy-two, which is a yeah. tough high number there. That is hard to yeah, find. That's a toughie. Yeah, and mine are in great shape. So I figured, let me go ahead and and take them to SGC and get them graded. Yeah. So I got forty card submission. I'm going to do there. All right. I mean, it's I don't know. I mean, I made trade some, but. For the most part, I want to get them graded. Yeah, yeah, I've got some football too. Grade them, Craig. Grade them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm get them. Graded. Graded fire, man. Do it, Craig. Do it. I don't think I can really afford to do it this time around. Uh, no, I get it. That's a great card. That's a fantastic yeah. card. Yeah, I've got, I got like, a couple football. Obviously, them getting yeah. graded. I got a. Uh, hey, there you go. Midas. I used to have that. Just card. a. Orlando. You know, a little bit of everything, just to kind of a, a good mix. Yeah. Garrett, are you grading so, anything? I'm not. Trade probably. I think a, I actually just sent stuff out training. like two days ago. So oh, uh, okay. last time I gave them stuff at a show was in Nashville, like last year, and it took forever to get them back because you know they had to drive them back, which probably took right. them a day or two, and then they had to. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they had people away at the show and had to process it all. It took forever, so I just sent them already. I just got a 30 card submission back from H STC, so I'm probably going to do a video on a few cards. A little bummed on a few. Not sure why, but whatever. But Garrett, I get it, and I just sent off another 30. But let me let me take it as one thing. I can't wait to meet all of you guys. And Garrett, yeah. I unfortunately, I'm not subscribed to your channel, but I will be after tonight. Just so you know, and, but the rest of the guys, I can't wait to meet you and shake your hand and say how grateful I am to have you guys as a friend. Awesome. It, it, it's just awesome. I love this community. I think it's great. I think what we're doing is a good thing for the hobby. Uh, and I learn everything from everybody every day that I can watch. So I'm grateful. Awesome. I just want to say I appreciate you too, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you had to whip it out one time. Thank you, man, Gina. Thank you, man, Gina. Thank you. <laughs> Garrett, Garrett, I'm, I'm so proud of you, Garrett, that you're doing this as a full time now. I mean, it's it's awesome to do this as a as a as a living for a living. I appreciate it. It means a lot. I mean, you've been there commenting since I probably had a hundred subscribers, probably even less. I mean, it seems like. If someone posts their first video, you probably already commented on it. So, ah, uh, yeah, well, I want to support as many people as I can. That's really the main thing. Everybody supported me, so you know you got to support everybody else. And yeah, we you're all doing an awesome job. Goats, and, you know, a lot of things. 
and we're all grateful for your knowledge and, and, and sharing your knowledge. And I think it's fantastic. And Scott, your artwork is amazing. And Pastor Craig, I love what you do. And Jason, you're awesome. And Garrett, yeah. now that I know you, I'm in. <laughs> all right. I already know you. We're good. <laughs> That's awesome. Good, hey, man. Warren, you got to promise me to do some shows with me after this, though. All right, let's do it, man. Let's do right. it. I mean, we're in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's what I say. <laughs> Garrett, I got to ask you, do you still have that 38 Al Lopez Gaudi? The raw one? Yeah. Yeah, I've got it back here somewhere. You bringing that to Strongsville? I can. I mean, I'm taking requests. I only have this little stack I was planning on, but I'll probably post some stuff for sale tomorrow and just tell people, like, I'll be there. I'm sure I can handle yeah, if it. You don't, if you don't mind bringing it along, I'm, I, I'm not committing, but I'd like to see it. I'd certainly Yeah, like for to sure. Whoa, whoa, Jason, slow down, man. You need money for the Raleigh Fingers, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> well, you know, that's the freaking problem there. What's going to happen is I'm going to go hook up with everybody. I'm going to spend all my money at the meet and greet and not have any for yeah. the show. Before the show. <laughs> Right. Dun, 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 dun. It's sharp. <laughs> Sammy, when you post, I was gonna make, I was gonna say something. I was gonna comment like, "Hey, hang on to that." But like, nah, if he's gonna grade well, it. It's funny. It's so that's not the first time. Uh, I was when I went to the Philly show with Mookie and his buddy Pete. We're walking around. I I'm like zip lining through every all the aisles, and you know they're going at a slower pace, just checking everything out. And I'm just like streamlining through. And so Mookie taps me on the shoulder and he goes, hey, did you see that transigram back there? I'm like, whoa. And I return back. <laughs> I go to the table and it's the Clemente transigram. You know, I buy it. I get a good deal on it. And so uh, I bring it to, my, to the show the next day that I'm setting up at. And before I even put it in the display case, Theo's, Theo texts me. He's like, don't sell that card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. And so we, you know, worked it out and uh, – he, he now, he, I think he uh, he sent that one out as well. But yeah, I uh, like I won that eBay auction for all those transograms the Willie Mays, the Col yeah. uh, McCovey, the yeah, Frank Robinson. Really great, great, great stuff. Those they all sold really fast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're tough to find, you know, you don't see too many of them at the show. No, uh, the, the Seaver and the Mays sold really quickly, and not surprising being in New York, the Seaver and I mean, the Mays. The Seaver was not, actually the Frank Robinson sold first, then the Seaver, then the Mays, and then the Marischal and the McCovey were left over. But yeah, that was um, those transograms hit hard, man. Let me tell you from personal experience. <laughs> we need to get a reindeer studio that, transogram shirt for Sammy. Sammy, are you looking for the for the Dan B. A Mays? Is that what you're going to look for? No, no, I'm looking. I mean, this is going to probably cost me my entire budget, but I'm looking for. Three things in particular: the Stallmeyer, Willie Mays, and a SGC or PSA one, because I all I can afford, or an authentic. I'll take that too. Um, but yeah, there's not that many Stallmeyers out there no, higher no. than yeah. That no, I looked last night. No, and there's about I think if I remember right, there's about 18 graded off uh, in a PSA one, and the rest there's like maybe three higher than or like eight higher than that. Right. And um, so, you know, if I can get one, you know, if they, if somebody has a PSA one for the right price, I'll go for it. Um, but I'm, I would love to find one of those Laughlin super standups. If yeah. I can find the Seaver or the Maze, those are more reasonably priced because they're bigger. And so people may not want to go after something like that. Cause it's like, where are you going to put it other than frame it? Um, Is that, but see, that's the stuff I love those Laughlin's. I never knew those existed. I had no clue. No, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I never knew they existed. But see, uh, no, well, I'm so, over oversized cards. I'm in. Yeah, I just want to discover it. I discovered it at the Philly show. There's a guy there. His his name is Durward, but everybody calls him Woody. And he sets up there, and he always has some really unique stuff. Like he had the what was it? The Partridge Meats cards, the oversized cards, and there was one of uh, Johnny Bench, and what I love about this particular card is that it said John Bench on it. So it's just kind of yeah. cool to see those sort of things. Sweet. And um, 
So he, what he had, he had on his, his display case, he had a Laughlin Super Stand Up Willie Mays, and he said he bought it off eBay for about a thousand bucks. And so I was like, oh, "Are you selling?" He goes, "No, I'm just here to showcase it. I'll probably frame it." And um, yeah, it's you know those sort of things are special because everything is personalized. They're all signed from Laughlin himself, and so they're tough. They're not easy. Yeah, there's a museal. There's a museal too, isn't there? Oh, there's Musial, there's Mantle, yeah. there's all the big Ruth. names. Dante, Ruth, Garrick, uh, DiMaggio. But I think there's uh, only one of each, though, Sammy. I'm pretty sure. I've never seen two. No, no, there's multiples. There's Are multiples there? out there. Yeah. It's just um, so I did a lot of research on these guys. Uh, the Laughlin Super Stand Ups were distributed out of a place in Cooperstown. Oh, what was the name of it? Oh, God. It's going to. Baseball Nostalgia. It's a shop that existed right. It sat right on the parking lot where Doubleday Field is. And unfortunately, I mean, sadly, uh, the guy shut the he closed the shop down, but he just he wanted to retire after 40 years of doing it. So um, I emailed him because his website was still up and I asked him, I said, hey, do you just happen to have any of these left over? And he goes, oh, unfortunately, I don't. But I can reach out to some families that might have some. But I haven't heard back. Um, that's so interesting because he signed every one of those he did and yeah on the back he'll he signed every single one of them yeah. and um, and some of them have like to somebody so it looks like he kind of gave them away i've seen he some did. of the name in the back yeah i honestly i wouldn't care if it was signed if it was a personal if it was personalized i'll if i see one there i'm jumping on it well, and you're hey, gonna, you're going to need some money after that, so then then I'll buy that rally off. Okay. <laughs> It'll help, help put a dent on everything. <laughs> Sorry, Jason. I'm going to cut you off there. Hey, guys, okay. I got to sign off, man. I got to get up at 4 a.m., so it's past my bedtime. So right. I can't right, wait Warren. to meet you guys and shake your hands, and it's going to be a good time. And uh, I wish you all the best and have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you again soon. All right, Warren. All right, Warren. We'll, see yeah, Warren. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you, yeah. yeah. Orlando, when are you getting in? I'm getting in uh, tomorrow night, 7.30. Perfect. Yeah, so see, Garrett, yeah what about say, you? Oh, sorry. Was, was that correct? I was going to say, for me, this is like the first time I'm going to a, like a big show like in like 20 years. I mean, so I'm, I, mean I, I go to the Pittsburgh show and stuff like that, but I mean, this is the first time going to like a really – really big show you know and uh, I've, I've made a pretty good list but i'm a little bit worried i remember chris in one of his videos said make sure you stay in your sandbox <laughs> you know no we're staying in your lane like where you're where you're collecting at you know i mean yeah you, know. you, you see so many things that you want to yeah. get and 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 it's overwhelming it really really right. is so that's like for me, really I'm not, I, I, I want to get into pre-war but i'm not there yet and and strongsville would be the place to do it but i i know if i did it and i wouldn't know enough about it i'd come away very disappointed you know, so I, I want to make yeah. sure I stay stay in my own lane, you know. And uh, yeah, well, we're here to help you. Anything you, you yeah, need, yeah, ideas. That's that's the best thing about this. That you know, we're right. all going to be there at the same time. So yeah, it's very easy to just to call somebody. Hey, come over. What do you right. give me an idea? Just, give me another. I'm just a little bit worried about g get going there and seeing something and just kind of you know almost being like a, a dog in a butcher store or something. You know, just like <laughs> all over the place. You know, and uh, so I want to make sure I can be kind of focused on what I'm looking for. But I want to have a really good time too. So you know. there's something to be said, and I know I know Sammy has said it several times, and specifically Orlando, that if you're looking for something in specific though, and you see it, you got <laughs> yeah. to grab it, right? Yeah. So yeah. last year at the national nationals in Chicago, more more times than not, and it's like 20 minutes from my house. So last year at the national, I came with X amount of dollars, no plan, kind of like this this trip. I have no plan. I have a couple ideas of what I want to get. And within 20 minutes, 80% of the budget was gone. Yeah. 80% of it was gone. And I'm like, okay. So, so I spent the whole day. And it was the day that the meet and greet was occurring. And I didn't have a channel at the time. But I, I knew I wanted to go to the meet and greet and meet a few people. So I had my money spent by, I don't know, 11.30 a.m. I walked the show for about eight hours with 20% of my budget. And all right, now I'm looking at $5 cards. And I'm like, what else can I pick up here? And you know, as soon as that meet and greet came, I'm like, All right, I can get out of here and go to the hotel now and meet everybody. But uh, yeah, you know, I saw something. It was there. It was right. I, I didn't even anticipate buying it. 
And I'm like, this price is too good. I just got to get it. And, yeah. and I did. So and I think that'll happen again here. I don't know if it'll happen in the first 20 minutes. But, you know, when I see something and there's, like I said, I'm targeting a few things. But, you know, I'm not going to hesitate. At, at this point in time, yeah. I'm just going to get it and have a good time. That's for me, you know, like sometimes I'm, if I'm, you find the right card, you just got to go for it. Yeah. Right. I did the exact same thing last year at the National, Jason. Did, what did you, you really? Up? Yeah. <laughs> I bought my big card like first 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't I don't think I got to meet you, Scott. Now now mind you, I was not making any content as small as mm -hmm. my channel is right now, but I was just there as, you know, the quote unquote lurker meeting you guys. And I, that's where I met her. I spoke with Orlando, Sammy, right. mm -hmm. uh, Theo, I think that's who I, uh Al, iconic Al. I kind of sat with you guys and then uh, John from Chasing Majors. I spent some time with him as well. So this guy. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I gotta say, Al is definitely as far as when it like when it comes to public speaking and just his eloquence, it is top notch. I love I love his videos and just how you know just yeah. the way oh, he yeah. does his bio, like his uh, biographies of all the different players. It's mm -hmm. spl absolutely splendid. Yeah, yeah, he's down to the uh, the number one choice now on his yeah. on his list. Yeah. You think it's going to be Harold it Baines? <laughs> think it's going to be Harold Baines? <laughs> it's Jim Tomey. I keep telling him it's Jim Tomey. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's uh, but I know he's yeah he's he, I think he's going to the national this year. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Are you all going to the? Is everyone going to the national? Yeah. Yeah. So it's too far away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't he even need to ask you. Scott. Scott can practically walk there. All right. Yeah. I was up in the air after this show. I, I even told my wife, I said, you know, I don't know. Maybe, you know, it's in it's in July, right? Or August. I don't even know. July. 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 Yeah. And I, I haven't booked a room, but, you know, I, I told my wife, I said, well, after Strong, so I don't know if I, you know, it, it would, that show for me would be more of, and this show is the same thing a little bit. I'm, I'm there for the people. I want to meet everybody, but I'm going to spend some money at this show. If I go to the national, I might go with a smaller budget and just hang out and have a good time. That's kind of where I'm, what I'm thinking is going to happen. And now that I know Garrett, I'll just buy all of his stuff. On. Yeah, <laughs> yeah great stuff. Stuff, you know, just follow me on Facebook or whatever. Right. I always see Garrett's posts on Facebook, and I always like, like, hmm, should we make another deal right now? <laughs> I was right going through them yesterday. I was looking at the cards yesterday. <laughs> like, oh, okay. No, Garrett, you know, Garrett's got good stuff, man. It's good I stuff. appreciate it. Yeah. I'll let you know. Uh, hope, oh, I mean, probably in like three weeks, I'll let you know what that mantle grades. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I'd love to hear. But, yep. So, so more. Mookie won't be there, though. We're going to miss Mookie. Uh, he won't be there. Yeah, he won't be uh, at Strong's, but he will be at the National. So, I can say... <laughs> From experience, I want to meet him. I haven't met him. Yeah, so hanging yeah. out with Mookie and his buddy Pete is an absolute riot. As soon as like, as, like I, I, I drive to Jersey to and I park my car and I go hang and I meet up with them, and we're you know like right at the gate. Mookie and his buddy Pete are just busting each other's chops. It's like Mookie's like, "Come on, let's go! Hurry up! <laughs> Hurry up! We gotta go! We gotta go!" <laughs> and I'm, well, and I, I convinced. I, go ahead, finish. No, it's just my first impression was like, wow, man, he beat like Mookie beats up on his friend, man. Like, <laughs> but then, then I realized I'm like, okay, no, they're just like, I thought Pete was going to punch him, but <laughs> yeah, it's just the back and well, forth, right? Yeah, I was saying that I was going to say that I was kind of beating up on Mike Petty. I finally yeah. convinced him to go, so he'll be there tomorrow too, and that'll be fun to finally. Where is he him right now? He's... I figured, I figured he'd jump on this. Yeah, I thought he commented know. earlier. I thought I saw him commenting. Oh, well, did he? I don't know. But yeah, I mean, he, we've become good friends. You know, I've been able to talk to him on the phone a lot and text with him all the time. And finally, I, I convinced him to to go. And uh, it's going to be great to see him and meet, finally meet him in person. And you know, he's he's a funny, funny guy. You got. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm going to recognize him. He's pretty quiet. He might be hard to pick out. Yeah. <laughs> he'll be the life of the party. He, he's right. the opposite of Scott. Just look for the center. Look for the center, and and Teddy yeah, will be yeah. in the middle of it. <laughs> On Facebook, what what are you under, Garrett? On Facebook, is it Ballpark Memories or? It's just my name, Garrett Wells. So okay, Garrett. Okay. I post in basically all like the major groups. Or then I don't use much Instagram, but I've considered it. Yeah, Facebook is definitely where I post the most and where the most money seems to be. Okay. 
you find that most of your clientele is is older folks, like guys are like my age, fifty and above. Hey, now. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of the nature of the game. I mean, to me, <laughs> most people are older folks. You know, I'm, right, yeah, right. But, uh, he's in his twenties. <laughs> I know he's the same age as my youngest daughter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did a we did a video um, uh, about a, I don't know a couple months ago, maybe it was you and uh, Micah talking about young de- uh, young vintage dealers. Yes. Yeah. I saw it was, that. Yeah, that's it's it's really cool. I, one thing that I took away from that that you said, Garrett, and I really uh, it's something that in these big in these big shows like the National, even some of these really big dealers, big time dealers, will focus a lot of their attention on like the really high end stuff, and you can walk away with uh, getting a sixty nine mantle or a sixty nine maze for a good like a really good price because their focus is not so much on that as it is on other cards. So you probably would be able to get fetch better deals that way. If you know, if that's your, yeah, you know, like lots of the guys who have been doing it a long, long time when cards weren't worth nearly as much as they are now, you know, like a, a 69 maze with a crease, sorry, dog, but that may have previously been something that they didn't really look over much, but then now, you know, that card's probably worth a lot more than it used to be. So they, may consider it something that's just like a, a value box type thing but you know that can be a really good piece to a set or to a collection now i see and mark coil there in the uh in the I'm chat sorry, go ahead, Atlanta. i saw mark mark coil in the chat i saw his interview there uh today it was awesome and i'd like to meet mark one day he's a good friend of uh, john keating too and uh, hopefully we'll meet at the national but mark seems like a great guy yeah did you see his interview with uh with mike baseball collector I didn't today. see that yet. I saw it. I saw it. I had a. I had saw it was posted. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bowman fifty three. I totally. I didn't there want to. There he is. <laughs> There's Alex. That's well, the other thing. Asking that's if the, I miss any of the cards I sell. Yes, certainly. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Like this one is on the list of stuff that I may be willing to move. This one, I don't know if I'll have quite be. enough room to sell to a dealer but i mean when this goes I... yeah when this goes i'll shed a tear it'll be great right on this top row man I'm yeah. top of you now. <laughs> sammy just forget all the dealers there this this is what you want right there. just I, I need one of those like what do they call the like just turn me into a zombie with the spinning wheel uh the spinning wheel eyes yeah i'll just kind of hypnotize you with it and follow <laughs> me you know <laughs> reindeer with the egg shirt <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and Dom just got here. Evening, fellas. Seemed like I missed a good show. Have the best time in Strongsville. Actually, uh, for for Dom, it uh, what is it? Uh, I'm forgetting his name. Jake from Legends Ever Die convinced Dom to go to the national. Oh, great! So he's going to be rooming with myself, Jake, and uh, Drew from uh, Vintage Legacy. Very cool. Yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> I think Jake is bringing his in, his inflatable mattress to make it all work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I that's what ask, happened to me. I heard, a lot, I heard a lot of people saying, uh, for Strong's, where, where are you staying? Where are you staying? And my understanding is there's only one place to stay, isn't there? <laughs> I thought it was the yeah. best western. I thought everybody's staying there. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That seems to be the consensus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's either that or your car. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I was looking around. I was trying to see what the map showcased in terms of what's around that hotel. And you have obviously the ice the ice rink across the street where the show's happening. But then, like a mile down, you have a shopping, you have like a, a shopping mall, uh, and then there's tons of restaurants nearby. It seems like so. Oh, yeah, good. it's not really in the middle of nowhere. Like there's enough yeah. restaurants. You got some choices. Yeah. Okay. I see. I was imagining. I've driven, driven by there like hundreds of times, literally hundreds of times in the last. 20 years we've lived here i've never i've never taken the turn and went down there to see what's there so you know this will be my first time to strongsville as well so there's not a lot no no i just <laughs> i buy it like 82 miles an hour party at scott's <laughs> house yep yeah <laughs> that's good stuff well fellas i think i'm gonna i'm gonna jump off here spend the rest of my evening watching my bulls hopefully win so uh, I'm going to head out, but you guys travel safe, and uh, we'll see you all. I'll be getting there Friday morning, about an hour and a half before the show. So we'll see you then. 
Awesome. All right. See you, Jason. All right. See you, Thanks, there. Sammy, for having me. I appreciate it. See you soon, friend. All righty. You too. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye, Jason. Yeah, Sammy, I think I'm going to cut out, too. I'm going to finish my SGC order. Okay. And, uh, first thing in the morning, I'm going to go get my hair cut and then head over to the airport. <laughs> and hopefully uh -huh. I can uh, meet up with Scott over there. So we'll be in touch, Scott. All right. All right. I'll All right, text awesome. you and stuff when I'm on my way. We'll, we'll check it out. And uh, I'll be staying with uh, Mr. Excitement, Rocket Rick. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's, yeah, that'll well, be fun. That'll be fun. First time meeting him as well. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was with him at the national. It was great. It's awesome. but it'll be a little bit different for me because, but the, at the national, I had the room with a bunch of young guys with Ryan Nolan and Steven and then another one of his buddies came in. So it was like four, three young guys and and the old man, you know. And this time it'll be two old guys. So it, it'll be a little more quiet. We'll see. All right, so guys, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Take care, right Garrett. I'll meet yeah, you, you too. We'll see you there. See you guys. Bye. And Warren, we're supposed to wear reindeer shirts every day, so you need to buy a couple more. <laughs> so you have to buy three of them. So yeah, you have one for each. I'm wearing day. mine right now. I mean, it's not like you know. I mean, it's not the newest shirts that he's coming out with, but it's right. an OG. That's... It's an OG shirt. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> you gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, this this is gonna be great, guys. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, Gary, when are you arriving? Uh, Thursday or Friday? Friday morning. I haven't exactly decided when I'm leaving, but I'll be there for the early entry or whatever. So I'll, it's like three and a half or four hour drive, which you know, I was not looking forward to that. But then after hearing some of the drives that other people are making, it doesn't sound so bad anymore. Are you going with uh, by yourself with your dad or I'm just rolling solo this time. Nice. Yeah. So I'll be there Friday, Saturday, and then head home Sunday. Oh, he returns. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, man. The wife said I could stay up longer. <laughs> <laughs> we might be we might be ending fairly soon. I'm not sure what the <laughs> overall vibe is, but uh Craig, what about you, man? When are you arriving? When are you coming? I'm, I'll be getting there probably like 11 o'clock or so. I, I got about an hour and a half drive. Oh, that's, oh okay. That's yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm close. Yeah, I got a I got a doctor's appointment Friday morning, and I'll be on my way. So, and sounds good. Already there. <laughs> right, it's at my house. <laughs> I was just gonna say that the whole that your the the background is just a backdrop, and you're really just sitting in a lawn chair waiting for the doors to open. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Good but, stuff. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to tomorrow driving with Brian, uh, scaring him with Slayer and Metallica and <laughs> Meshuga, and uh, I, I might start. I might start it off because it's you know it's going to be early, so we'll start off with John Denver and some James Taylor, <laughs> just to kind of smooth things over, <laughs> and then completely might as well throw in Jackson uh, Brown too, just for the hell. Yeah, yeah, might as well throw him in there as well. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe some Carol King or uh, yeah. there you go. You know, then I'll just completely flip the switch and go. Awesome. You know, and like you know, um, like why am I forgetting the name of the movie? But you know, why is there not an eleven knob? <laughs> exactly. And then you know, throw in some Tool in there. Oh man, Tool! Oh god, that, mm -hmm. I've seen them so many times. Oh yeah, seen them a few times. Took my kids a couple times. They lost their minds. Hopefully, they we're didn't we were low, please, but it didn't matter. They still sounded great, so it was yeah. a fun time. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, man, I just want to jump on real quick because my wife gave me permission. <laughs> Thank you, Diamond. I gotta go watch Little House on the Prairie now. So, oh my, <laughs> I, have fun with that, Warren. I enjoy. But it's something Warren, we do together. Warren, when, are you, when are you arriving? Before you go. Um. I have to work on Friday. I will be there around three three thirty on Friday. Nice. So You'll be at the meet up, I, assume. I work about I work about fifteen minutes away from there. So I'm gonna come smelling like metal because I weld all day. So fantastic. Um, yeah. yeah, Sammy likes metal. I do like metal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I listen metal as I weld metal, so it works out just fine. 
Listen, but I'm yeah, all too, I'm all too familiar with that. I smell oil, metal all day. You know, I'm I I work in utilities, so I totally understand. Yeah, the uh, the wife. I have a free pass for the weekend. She knows how important this show is to me and what's happening and all that all that kind of fun stuff. So it's just kind of a good thing, and I can't wait to shake all your guys' hands and. And just have a good time. Um, I'm not spending a lot of money. I'm saving for the national because my SGC order came back way too late. So I wasn't able to get a lot of sales out. It happens. So I'm just going to work on building team sets of the Indians from the 50s and 60s. That's what I'm working on. That's good, man. Well, we look forward to seeing you on Friday. Hope I imagine you'll be coming to the meetup as well. I will. Uh, yeah. I know it's at the Best Western. I haven't seen the time yet, but I know it's out there. I'll find it. No big deal. I'm sure we're all going to talk at some point at, at some time. So all good. Absolutely. You guys take care. I'll see you again. All take right, care. Warren. Right, see you, Warren. See you, Warren. Oh, man. Yeah, if I find like a home run derby card, that's going to be awfully fun. That, I mean, that, those are one of the things, Sam, I'm really, really, really wanting. Uh, those are cool. I've seen them. Yeah. I haven't I haven't seen one out in the wild, but yeah. uh, those are tough. Not only because they're rare, but like the home run derby, I, I mean, I'm like 61 years old. So I remember like, like I was in high school in the 70s. I remember watching the home run derby come on. You know, we, we still had a black and white TV, as a matter of fact. So it was black and white. But I, I remember watching that show and just being like amazed by it. And uh, so oh, I'm hoping to find if I can find a derby card, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, be, those are that I mean, I think it's probably the right place to find one is uh yeah. at that show. It seems like like when I asked Garrett that question earlier about like some of the oddball stuff, that's mm -hmm. Deep, deep inventories, deep inventories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of the, like traction with those recently, as far as just like seeing them on different people's channels and stuff. And, yeah. yeah, those are some cool cards. Yeah. Uh, Rick, Oddball Vintage, I think he had one. Uh, yeah, showed, like was it a month ago, maybe. Yeah, real nice. Yeah. Real nice. And yeah, armor. Saying, be careful. There are many counterfeits. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bring your loops. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually. I just got a new one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, like there's there's apps on your phone that can do a good a, a good job as well for zooming oh, yeah. in and looking at cards closely. And of all shows to worry about counterfeits, this one's low on the list for sure. I mean, most yeah. of these guys know what they're doing pretty well. Yeah, I think that's probably yeah definitely uh, definitely reassuring. Uh, does everybody have the early entry? Uh, I haven't bought my tickets yet, to be honest, but I need to tonight. So yeah, that's next on the that. agenda. Uh, so, Scott, is um, I, I, I swore that you mentioned that you're like, I mean, I guess unless something really speaks to you, you're not really out there to look for anything in particular. You're just kind of hanging out. And uh, but if something's there that's kind of strikes you, you might take interest but you really just kind of right out. my budget is very low right now so Gosh. but we'll, we'll make do <laughs> i mean maybe with enough of the t-shirt sales though it might open up a little bit more possibly yeah we shall see but uh you know i think i thought unless anybody else has anything to mention before we go i gotta start packing and um start Putting some cards aside. Uh, Brian texted me earlier before he, I mean, way before he we he jumped on, saying like, "Did you uh, do you have your packing list?" And I'm like, "My packing list." He goes, "Yeah." And like, you mean like clothes and cards and such? Like, do I need like? It just made me think of the movie. Like, this might be this is going back a little bit from 1997. There's a movie as good as it gets where Jack Nicholson is walking around his bed. Or like literally with a with a handwritten list going through all his clothes, and I'm, this made me think of that. And I'm just like, I text him back. I'm like, no, man, I, I don't do a list for my clothes. I just kind of go out, you know, I pick stuff out and go throw it in the back. <laughs> but I guess I don't know. I guess you know, 
you know, you want to be organized as organized yeah. as possible. So, well, check the weather forecast. Never know. <laughs> you know. We had a lot of rain here today. So, I check Strongsville tomorrow. Let me see what they're saying. I got to rotate through the list of cities. Like cool in the morning. 67, high of 67 tomorrow, 59 on Friday, and rainy. And then back low 50s Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Gloomy weekend, but who cares? It's all indoors. It's time to be exactly. buying cards. <laughs> We're looking at them at least. So. Yeah. But we all need to bring our ice skates so we can get around the, the rink. Is that how they're doing it? They're going to have yeah. the tables and you have to get you have to bring your Bauer skates? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I used to have a pair of Bowers. That'd be something. So I can do those tight turns around the, you know, mm-hmm. around the aisles. But if you really want to have some fun, you could uh, you can you can you know go from one end of the ring to the other and, and spray your friend. Yeah, right. Just keep the water any... off the cards. Yeah. We'll be good. <laughs> right, Sammy. As long as we don't have any rim keys. Is that the the, the Rangers guy, the the fighter? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That rim key. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Congrats to my Rangers for being the president's trophy winners. Uh, now they can lose in the first round. No, please don't. <laughs> I want Shesterkin to. Um, I mean, I want Shesterkin to raise the cup and dedicate it. Uh, oh, why am I forgetting his name? To uh, to Lundquist. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Henry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, gents, uh, right, thank then. you guys for sticking around. Yeah. Um, I look forward to meeting or uh, meeting you guys, Garrett. The first time meeting you, Scott's. Uh, you know, I think the it's third old hat. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and Craig, first time meeting you as well. So look forward to meeting you guys. It's a small enough show where we're going to bump into each other multiple times. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you again, guys, for jumping on. Thanks for everybody for watching. I appreciate you guys sticking around. It was a really, really fun live stream. So this is going to be great. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I look forward to it. And Scott, make sure to save me a T-shirt too. All right, will do. I'll I'll need one. All right. All right, have a great night, everybody. I'll see you all later. Take care.